Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be a review for SH Muscle Arts, and we have Super Mecha Godzilla, another Tamashi Web exclusive. But luckily for us here in US, it's brought over as a normal release. We got mine from Tatsu Hobby, and here we go. So it's uh, quite nice. I like it. The box art, nice and blue. On the back side, it's gonna give us a bit more information on what to expect inside. So it seems like we're getting a base for the Garuda and again uh, this is a great opportunity for those who missed out on the first one because that add-on was a P-Bandai back then and it was extremely hard to get uh, if you missed out and uh, I remember that going up like $200 just for the Garuda add-on I mean it did come with other things but still <laughs> that's too much but here we have a chance to get all of them so this is quite nice it does come with a brown stripper box I'm not gonna go over that. Here we go. Anyways, that's it for the box. Let's take a look inside. Alright, so I just wanna quickly go over what's inside. Um, we have Mecha Godzilla here, an alternate uh, back plate to connect uh, the Garuda, an open uh, hand, or, sh or it's a bit more straight. Then you get the belly cannon here. Uh, some parts here which is swappable. For this underside here uh, and that's uh, when to connect here as well let's see what else we got uh, the base is right here so that's pretty much it all right so uh, we have the two here they look great I got that really nice silver on Mega Godzilla quite nice and uh, we also have the Garuda here now uh, let's do some comparison with this Garuda and the old one. Alright, so we have the two Garudas here. And uh, for the most part, they are painted uh, almost similar. Although the silver they've used on the new one here on my left, it's uh, a bit more uh, shinier. A bit more lighter than the silver they use on the old style. Although, I mean, from afar, they are almost the same. Yeah. And... Uh, I kind of just uh, forgot where I put the clear plastic pieces on the tips here. It does come with the old one. I just can't remember where. But on the old one as well, it does come with effect parts that the uh, Super Godzilla set does not have that. As well as the thing that goes on the forearm of Mecha Godzilla. Yeah, those are the things that uh, I wish they could have added that as well since it'll make the whole set complete. But. Yeah, <laughs> so there is still matter getting the old one in some ways. So uh, looking here, yep, uh, even the clear plastic piece on the bottom side is that made of... Actually, it's a little different. I thought it's the same. So this is a bit more darker. Darker orange or reddish orange. This one is just, you can see it. Hmm, interesting. What else we got here? Well, this is the underside. Which already swapped out for Mega Godzilla. There we go. Yeah, so for the most part, they are the same. Alright, so uh, we have the two here. Uh, again, this is the new, this is the old, and you can kind of see the difference uh, with the paint. Uh, the new one's uh, a little bit more shinier in terms of their silver. This one, it's a bit more matte. But uh, nonetheless, they are almost the same, but they made some changes for the good. <laughs> so first off, uh, the old one, the old style, it's pegged in. This is how it's connected. And you have to swap it out if you want to him to look up. I don't have the particular headpiece right now, but I think that's how it was before. Uh, it does give you an articulation on the neck, so that uh, you are allowed to swivel it. There we go. Now for the new one, they've uh, actually changed that. You're able uh, to look up. And actually, it's there's a bit of a gimmick. You can see this fins here. If you push it up, it goes in. And uh, there's that uh, leg part, I mean the neck part there that moves up, which is quite nice. And you're gonna push this whole thing down. There we go. So that is like his flight mode. 
So that's that's cool. And let's see. Yeah, I can even uh, twist it. There we go. Actually, let's uh, bring it out again. So the weird thing is, okay, there we go. I was looking for that. You you can rotate it, but I might be hitting something there for the neck. So hopefully I'm not rubbing off anything. Yeah. So anyways, uh, that is a cool gimmick. Being able to do everything and you don't have to swap out much joints or whatnot. So that's that. Now for the eyes. His eyes are a bit more yellow compared to the old one here which is a bit more red or orange. Uh, likewise the same way you can open up the mouth here there are some cannons uh, underneath Let's see here there we go and likewise you can do that on the old one as well moving down you have this giant shoulder here you kind of see that inside part moving as you rotate this and it's a ball joint here which you can rotate uh, it seems like a double jointed elbow here which is quite nice and you got your wrist joint here so I guess the other pair of hands now that I recall is for flight mode I'm not gonna swap it out but it's just a bull joint there all right and moving down you got your waist area here and I believe it's the same way to pop it out there we go and uh, for us to swap out this piece right here which is always a bit of a it's a bit tricky to take out all right so kind of have to pry it out there we go actually just leave the cannon part in swap that in there we go so again the difference is there and uh, this is the old style so this is uh, a bit more dark uh, it's not painted in compared to the old style and some of you might be asking well can you swap it out let's actually try so let me pop the, this guy out there we go well if we let's see here let's connection point whoops it's the same shape although the peg is shorter can we even attach this here yeah so my take you can swap it out if you want this on here we probably can yeah so that works out quite well so you can mix and match but uh, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back so it's a lot harder to take this out now <laughs> all right let me do that off camera all right so uh, moving on we have the legs here I don't think you can no, stretch them apart but you have the movement back and forth you got the knees here which is double jointed quite nice and you got your ankle here and this is die cast the whole feet here you can feel it nice and cold so you have a little bit of it's a double ball joint from what I can tell yeah it's it's kind of hard to actually I'm not even sure if it's double ball joint the bottom here it doesn't whatever joint is attached here it does not move so it might be just a, a joint or, or a ball joint right here huh I don't want to break it <laughs> yeah, odd. well moving on for the tail this is actually quite surprising because they've added a bit of articulation you can see this flex a little bit yeah each is like segmented Yeah, you can straighten it out and bend it a little bit. Uh, as opposed to, I think the old style, you have to swap out the tail. 
So that is some improvements. So everything is here already. You don't have to do much, uh, do part swapping. Actually, let me go back here. Yeah, I think you can move the bottom part. Yeah, mine is just stuck. Probably on the new one. Yeah, we'll see. Also, I had a problem with uh, my old one. I'm not sure if any of you have experienced this, but the gunmetal on the knees. I don't think the knees are die cast, but I've noticed um, you kind of see it flaking off. It's like the residue you get from leaving off a battery. <laughs> yeah, it started doing that on the gunmetal piece. It's weird, and even on the waist. I've cleaned most of it or whatever I can, but. I thought it was just like a something or some dust or yeah or mold or maybe I tried to clean as much but it started peeling off and it's peeling off the paint which is strange yeah it, it's just a weird thing Imagine, let's take a look here oh that's interesting so here you can kind of see there's an like an extra insert like a color on the waist Kind of cover that on the old one they don't have that so definitely they've improved some of that i'm kind of curious now what's the deal with this I may have to take a close look on that all right so i'm able to pop off that joint and it is a ball joint down here it's just really stiff and i don't know if i want to force that in may have to put some kind of lubricant there to kind of loosen this but another thing is, it's this is the the ankle. Uh, we typically want that stiff. So yeah, unfortunately, mine was yeah. You can't even move it. Anyways, I'll just pull it, push this back in here if I can. <laughs> it's not letting me. Well, that's actually a little difficult than I thought it would be. Uh, one of those things I gotta do off camera again. Moving on, we have the Garuda here, and we have to swap out certain things. So uh, let's try taking this off, taking this off here, and this one. I think this best way is to grab it from the bottom side here. There we go. And uh, where are the parts? Actually, we are just gonna remove this. <laughs> um. I think it goes the other way here. There we go. And this will contour on the back side of Mecha Godzilla. There we go. And we go ahead and swap out the back dorsal fin. Attach this guy here. And now this is the part that kind of contours on that. So make sure you swap it out. And you just bag it in. There we go. Now this uh, the cockpit area does move back, and you're able to move this down for the cannons. And now we have Super Mecha Godzilla. That is quite amazing. Let me do that on the old one here. Just gonna put this on. There we go. Nice. Alright, so a side by side comparison between the two, and to kind of wrap it up, I'm really happy that Bandai reissued this because it's really hard to get. The Garuda add-on set back then. It, it was a P Bandai, and I've seen that went up to 200. It was ridiculous, and it's kind of like the holy grail of SH Monster Arts. Only a few people were able to get it at that time, and yeah, it's nice of them to reissue it. Not only that, they've improved the neck joint, the tail, so that everything is there. You don't have to do much of the part swapping. I think it'll be even better if they find a way to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do the belly cannon somehow but um, swapping the pieces is not too bad so I'm I'm still happy regardless but yeah but on that note also when they reissue something the older one uh, value goes down 
not quite because the effect parts and even the nifty base that comes with the Garuda add-on back then wasn't carry over. So there is still merit having the Garuda add-on back then. But uh, probably not as much now since you can get it through the new release. Anyways, uh, that's about it for this review. Again, I got my front thoughts of hobby. If you got questions, uh, let me know. So until then, this is Meads. Thanks for watching.